All right, so guys, it is 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our attendance, all right? And then after this, I will lock the meeting. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna go down in order of who I have on my list. All I want you to do is say here when I call you, all right? So I have number one, Hudson. Hello. Awesome, thank you. I have number two, Adrian. Hi. Hi, I have number three, Yug. Right here. Awesome, I have number four, uh, Ashrita. Here. Awesome, I have number five, Tashi. Here. Number six, Jeremy. Present. Awesome, number seven, Ayushi. Yes. Yay, and then is number eight, Jocelyn. Okay, here. Jocelyn, you came just in time. Whoa, look at you go. <laughs> All right, number nine, Kyle. Hello. Awesome. Number 10, Shreya. Here. Awesome. Number 11, Anandaline. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. And number 12, Patrick. Hi. Number 13, Chaitana. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. And number 14, Prabhav. Hi. Hi. All right, so we are all here. I'm gonna go ahead and lock our meeting. All right, we're locked. Everybody who's in is in, and everybody who is not is not. All right, you guys, so welcome to your Art History B Championships. Um, things are gonna work kind of similar, but there's gonna be some slight changes and a little bit more challenging things for you. Ms. Jessica is gonna kind of explain how we're gonna run it today. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and share our screen so they can see us a little bigger. <clears throat> you can. All right, so it's going to be a similar style today of the prelims, but there's a little bit of changes. So I'm gonna kind of go over some of those. You guys still have 30 seconds to answer your questions right after we say them. And just kind of like you had asked before and Ms. Caitlin was letting you know, we'll let you know when the timer starts and when you have about 10 seconds left. Always think about those answers. You guys do a really good job um, of doing so. Cause remember your first answer is the only one we're going to accept. So whatever you say first is the question, the answer that we are going to judge yes or no on. We're still gonna do three rounds. Our first round is just going to be questions. Like we did in the prelims, I just will ask you guys questions and they will give me your answer. Our second round, whoever makes it into that round, is going to be questions and pictures of the art we did in the past. So as an example would be this right here. I'm not gonna use this during our actual B, but this is one of the projects I made with you guys. And so I'm gonna hold this up and ask a question either about it or based off of it. Then our third round, so for those of you who make it into the third round, um, that one's just going to be pictures that we'll share on the screen. You'll look at it, and then I'll ask you guys different questions based off of the different pictures that we've seen. These are gonna be brand new pictures that no one has seen before yet in our prelims. Um, so, you know, round three is going to be a definitely our most difficult, but that is good. And the last thing, so whoever makes it past round three, if we have a couple of you guys left, we're gonna do a lightning round. What that is, is I, we're going to uh, move everyone except for one person into the waiting room. And that one person, we're gonna ask you 10 questions and you're just gonna say your answer. Well, we won't tell you yes or no. Um, if you get it right, you'll get a point. Then we'll just kind of take people out of the waiting room and ask you guys the same 10 questions. So no one will know them until we say them to you. Mm -hmm. Whoever has the highest points will be our winner. If there is some sort of tiebreaker at that point, we will do some more questions. Um, but at that point, we'll leave it just there to see um, who can win in our lightning rounds. We also go honor policy. This is a big one. This is our finals. You guys have studied so much already. You don't need your study guides anymore. All of it is in your head. So please remove everything from in front of you, parents, please make sure you do not mouth the words to your children, maybe sit behind them, next to them, brothers and sisters as well. Um, and I wanna say thank you for everyone who is here to watch today, um, for your family or friends. Um, this is a really exciting time and I'm glad you guys get to be here as well. Awesome. And then, um, Tashi, I see you have your hand raised. What's up, do you have a question? Yeah, um, do you track the points or we do? We'll count mm -hmm. the points. Don't worry, I got like a notebook here full of your names and also like my point keeping system. No worries. Good question. All right, so I'm going to be at my usual role, which is I'm just going to have us go in order, um, numerical order, and I'm going to say your names. We're going to do the same thing. When you unmute yourself after I call your name and number, I want you to give us a nice loud hello so that I know we can hear you and that you can hear us. Okay? 
Um, I think Ms. Jessica covered just about everything. I'll do, uh, I'll do with, with the timer of what we discussed. Um, I'll let you know when the 30 seconds starts. I'm going to start it right after Ms. Jessica says the question. Um, for clarity's sake, I will pause it if you did not hear the question properly. Um, so just, again, be sure to really let us know as soon as you don't understand the question or what we said, let us know, okay? Because mm -hmm. that goes against your time. Um, and then I'll let you know when the 10 seconds is uh, about to happen. All right. Guys, are we ready? Yeah? All right, shake your hands, get those nerves out. Cause here we go. Alrighty, so starting at the top of the order, we have Hudson, number one. So Hudson, go ahead and unmute yourself. Oh, I think Hudson's screen froze. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's just give Hudson one minute. <laughs> Gotta stop. There we go. There we are. <laughs> Yay, all right, Hudson, unmute yourself. Hi, give us a nice loud hello. We're not hearing any sound. Oh no, we're not hearing your sound. That's okay. We'll go ahead and let you guys. <laughs> That's why we say hello. Oh wait. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Yay. hello. And that's why we do what we do. So Hudson, <laughs> here is Miss Jessica with your first question. All right, Hudson, the first question for you today is, Aegean people made abstract statues. What does abstract mean? Abstract means like not real. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get to tell you I started the timer. <laughs> that is correct. All right, good job. All right, next I have number two, Adrian. Hi. Hi, thank hello. you for that nice loud hello. Here's Miss Jessica with your question. All right, Adrian, what country are the Lascaux cave paintings from? France. You have to say louder. France. France. Good job. That is correct. All right, awesome. Thank you. Next, we have number three, Yug. Hello. Hello. Hello, here is Miss Jessica with your question. All right, you name the famous Greek goddess we talked about in class. Athena, the goddess of the warrior goddess. Good job, that is correct. As I'm starting the timer, you guys are like, <laughs> I know it. You're amazing. All right, next we have number four, Ashrita. Hello. 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 All right, here is your question. All right, Ashita, why did the cave artists paint images on the cave walls? Um, because they didn't know how to write so they communicated in art. That is correct. Good job. Great. All right, number five, Tashi. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right, here is your question. All right, Tashi, what subject did the Paleolithic people paint? Here's your time. Animals? Yes, they did. Good job. All right, awesome. Number six, Jeremy. Hello. 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 All right, here is your question. All right, Jeremy, what was the name of the first recorded Egyptian artist? Emotep. Emotep, good job. Ooh, an excellent pronunciation. I know. All right, number seven, Ayushi. Hello. Hello. All right, here is your question. All right, Ayushi, what were Roman paints made from? Here's your time. Plants? Yes, they were. Good job. All right, awesome. Number eight, Jocelyn. Hello. Hello. <laughs> here is your question. All right, Jocelyn, <clears throat> excuse me. Why did the Egyptians create their art? Here's your time. Um, to, for the afterlife of their pharaohs and their kids. Yes. For the afterlife, I like added for the pharaohs. Very mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you, Jocelyn. Number nine, Kyle. Oh, there we go. Hello. All right, here is your question. All right, Kyle. What is the style of painting called when you paint into wet plaster? Fresco. Fresco. Very nicely done. You guys are faster than me saying the timer is going. All right, number 10, Shreya. Hi. Hi. All right, here's your question. All right, Shreya, what is a ziggurat? Here's your timer. 
temple that the Sumerians made? Good job. Nice. That is correct. Good job. All right, number 11, Anandaline. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right, here's your question. All right, Anandaline, what country did the ancient Aegeans live in? The ancient Aegean lived in, um, Um, modern day Iraq? They did not live in modern day Iraq. They actually lived in Greece. Modern, uh, well, modern day where that would be in Greece. But thank you very much. All right. Uh, number 12, Patrick. Hi. Hi. Hello. All right, here is your question. All right, Patrick, what is Persopolis? Is it a temple or a city? city. Here's your time. City. A city. Good job. All right, number 13, Chaitana. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. All right, here's your question. All right, Chaitana, what group of people made ziggurats? Sumerians. Sumerians. Faster than my timer. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, number 14, Prabhav. Hi. Oh, all right, here is your question. All right, Prabhav, your question for today is, what does the head of a Lamassu look like? Here's your mm -hmm. A person. A person, good job, great. All right, you guys, that was the end of round one of the championship. <laughs> so again, give yourself a pat on the back. Oh my goodness, so intense. Is anybody still feeling nervous? Yeah, a couple kind of worked out maybe now a little bit. Yeah, once you get into it, it's a little yeah. bit easier to do. All right, you guys, so we're going to move on to round two. Oh, my goodness. Um, excellent job studying so hard. We're going to go ahead and get going. Um, is this with our artwork or our pictures that are on the computer? Um, this is going to be with the artwork. Okay, cool. Yes. All right, so starting again from the top of the order, we are going to start with Hudson again. Hello. Hello. All right, Miss Jessica, whenever you're ready to hand over the question. All right, Hudson, your first question is a picture question, so I'm going to hold this up so you can see. Are you able to see that? Uh, yes. All right, so your question is, what style of column is this one? That is a Doric column. Say it one more time. Doric. A Doric column. A Doric column. Good job. Okay, good job. All right, next we have number two, Adrian. Hello. Hello. Okay, here's your question. All right, Adrian, yours is not a picture question, so listen close. Were Roman sculptures of people realistic or ideal? Here's your time. Realistic. Realistic, good job. All right, number three, Yug. Hello. Oh, all right, Yug, here is your question. All right, Yug, yours is a picture question, so I'm going to hold this up, and I want you, can you see that in your screen? Yep. All right, so your question is, um, this famous Egyptian queen had a husband, a famous Egyptian king. What was his name? Akhenaton. Ach yes, Akhenaton. Good job pronunciation, too. That was really good. <laughs> All right, thank you. Next we have number four, Ashita. Hello. There you are. All right, here is your question. All right, Ashita, yours is not a picture question. Uh, so listen close. What is the style of art called where one side of a sculpture is part of the wall and the other side is raised off the wall? Here's your timer. Relief. Say it one more time. Relief. Relief. Awesome. Okay, number five, Tashi. Hello. Hello. All right, here is your question. All right, Tashi, again, no picture, so listen close. What did ancient Near East people want to show when they created their art? Here's your time. They wanted to show off their military victories. Good job. Okay. All right. Number six, Jeremy. Hello. Hello. All right. Here's your question. All right. Again, this is just a listening one, Jeremy. So listen close. Were ancient Greek sculptures of people realistic or ideal? Ideal. Ideal. All right. Thank you. Number seven, Ayumi. Ah. 
Hello. There you are. Ayushi. All right, Ayushi, <laughs> here is your question. All right, Ayushi, your question is a picture question. So I'm going to hold the same one up before. But now your question is, what is the style, make sure I point to the right one, of this column? The middle column. The ionic. Ionic. Good job. All right, thank you, Ayushi. Number eight, Jocelyn. Hello. Hello. All right, here is your question, dear. All right, yours is not a picture question, so listen close. What is, uh, excuse me, what was the reason the Romans created their art? To show power. To show power. You guys are always saying things when the time I'm trying to tell you the timer is going. I don't want to interrupt you. So good job. All right, that was Jocelyn. So we're on to number nine, Kyle. Say it nice and loud one more time. Hello. There you are. All right, Kyle, here is your question. All right, yours is a picture question. So I'm going to hold this picture up, make sure you can see it. All right, so Kyle, your question is what black and color material? did the cave artists use to draw on the cave walls? They used charcoal. Charcoal, good job. All right, number 10, Shreya. Hi. Hi. All right, here is your question. All right, Shreya, yours is also a picture question, so holding this one up, what is the style of this column? Corinthian. Corinthian, good job. All right, awesome, thank you. Next we have number 12, Patrick. Hi. Hi, all right, here is your question. All right, Patrick, is not a picture question, uh, so listen close. What modern country did the ancient Near East people come from? Iraq. Iraq, good job. Great. All right, number 13, Chaitana. Hi. Hi, mm -hmm. all right, here's your question. All right, Chaitana. Name one of the three types of ancient Aegean people we learned about. Psychotics. Good job. Nice one. I always have a hard time saying that one myself, so good <laughs> job on the pronunciation. All right, last but not least, Prabhav. Hi. Hi. All right, All right here is your question. Prabhav, yours is a picture question. We're coming back to this person here. Yeah. What or who is this a statue of? Queen Nefertiri. We never hear TD. Good job. Nice. You're good on pronunciations. Whew. Well, that was the end of round two, and I didn't have to cross anybody off my list. <laughs> good effort, everybody. All right, we are going to be moving into round three. We're just going to make sure that we have enough questions mm -hmm. for you. You're very smart, uh, so we're just making sure that you guys have everything. We are good to go. All right, so starting again from the top of the order, we have number one, Hudson. So go ahead and unmute yourself. Hi. Give us a nice loud hello one more time. It's cutting out a little bit, but we did hear it. Say one more time. Hello. It's... Hello. There you are. Okay, Much better. Good. All right. Here is your round three question. Oh, is this one of the picture ones? Yes. Okay. All right. Got it. So this is our picture round where we are going to be showing you guys images on your screen, kind of like before, but these are going to be the actual pictures of the art that you guys were studying. So everyone give me a thumbs up if you can see this image in front of you or if you see an image in front of you. Uh, give me a thumbs down if you don't. Just double check. Okay. It looks like everyone does. Wonderful. All right. And we are all ready and set up to go. Ready? Yeah. Number one? Yep. All right, Hudson, you're already unmuted. I forgot we already called him. <laughs> all right, Hudson, so the image in front of you is what your question is going to be based off of. So look close. Is this a Roman or Greek sculpture? A Roman? It is a Roman. Good job. All right, number two, Adrian. Hello. Hi. All right, here's your question. All right, Adrian, your question that goes along with this is which Roman leader is this sculpture of? Augustus. Augustus. Yeah. Good job. Okay, moving right along to number three, Yug. Hello. Hello. All right, here is your question. All right, Yug, we're still looking at this image. How can you tell this is a Roman sculpture? Because I see a lot of flaws on there. Good job. Lots of flaws. Awesome. All right. 
Moving right along, we have number four, Ashrita. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right. Here is your question. All right, Ashrita, we're going to be moving into our next picture here now. We're going to go ahead. Oh, yeah. And minimize that one probably. There we are. All right. So take a look. What is the name of this building? Here's your 30 seconds. Parthenon. Say it one more time, nice and big. Parthenon. Parthenon, good job. Great. All right, moving along, number five, Tashi. Hello. 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 All right. When Ms. Jessica is ready, you have your question. All right. Tashi, your question is Who was this building made for? Athena. 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 Good job. All right. Thank you, Tashi. Moving on to number six, Jeremy. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right. Here is your question. All right, Jeremy. <clears throat> excuse me. We're still on this one. What country is this building from? Greece. Greece. Good job. Great. All right. Moving along to number seven, Ayushi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, are we moving on to a new image, Miss Jessica? Yes, we are. Okay, awesome. <laughs> We're good. We're gonna leave it right here. All right, here's your question, dear. All right, Ayushi. Actually, let's go to the next one. I'm gonna circle back around. We're gonna go to this uh, picture here, so take a look. Your question to go with it is, is this a Greek or Roman sculpture? This is a Greek sculpture. It is a Greek sculpture. Good job, awesome. Thank Number you. eight, Jocelyn. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right. Jocelyn, here is your question. All right. Jocelyn, your question to go with this picture is, how can you tell that this is a Greek sculpture? It shows um, the image of an ideal human being with no flaws. Good job. An ideal human being. That was a great way to say it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Jocelyn. Number nine, Kyle. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, here is your yeah. question. All right, we're actually going to go backwards now. I want to go back to this image here. So, Kyle, this is what your question is going to be based off of. What type of building is this? It is a ziggurat. It is not a ziggurat. This is actually a temple um, from a country that I'm not going to say right now. <laughs> but thank you, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kyle. All right, number 10, Shreya. Hi. Hi. All right, here is your question. All right, Shreya, your question is based on this picture as well. Um, whose temple was this? Uh, Queen Hatshepsut. Good job. Very good pronunciation of her name. All right, thank you, Shreya. Next, moving up right along to number 12, Patrick. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. All right, here is your question. Are we moving right along? Yes, we are. Okay, new image for you, Patrick. I'm going to zoom in mm -hmm. on this because it's kind of small. Mm -hmm. Can you see that okay? Yes. All right. Patrick, what country is the Colosseum located in? Um, Italy. Italy, good job. All right. All righty, moving along, number 13, Chaitana. Hi. Hi. All right, here is your question. All right, your question is, still for this picture, what city? is the Roman Colosseum located in? Rome. Good job. Good job. All right, number 14, Prabhav. Hi. Hi, all right, here is your question. <laughs> all right, and we're gonna stick with this one for our last question here. What is the purpose of the Colosseum? Um, it's an amphitheater. It is an amphitheater. What's the purpose What's the of it? Purpose? Um, Your timer's still going. Um, um, hey, acting? It is not. Did you say acting? <laughs> That's all right. Um, so you 
you know, you were getting there, had it, but for entertainment was the word we're looking for. Remember this was, it was an amphitheater, you were correct in that, but they wanted just to entertain people in many, many different forms. But really good job. Thank you for very informative questions you've been given so far. <laughs> All right, awesome. So that is the end of round three. Um, everybody, you've been doing such a great job. Even if you haven't made it all the way to round three, um, you still have participated in something uh, very challenging mm -hmm. and you are all very brave uh, through all of your questions. And I love the confident answers everybody's been giving. So at this point, we now have, I think, the pleasure to move into mm -hmm. quite an intense lightning round. Um, I have quite a few people who are still in. So this is gonna be our waiting room thing that we're gonna do. So mm -hmm. what I'm gonna do is I am going to put everybody into a waiting room. Now, just to make this a little bit harder, because you guys are proving to be just incredible, I am going to shorten the time you have to answer in the lightning round. So we have been giving you 30 seconds. I'm going to give you 15 seconds. So I'm going to cut the time in half. That way it's going to make it a little bit more challenging, and you'll have to say your answer as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'll let you know as soon as I start the timer. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move everybody into the waiting room. I'm still going to go in numerical order. So please don't leave the meeting. Um, <laughs> I'll still call you back in. Okay. So I'm just going to put everybody in the waiting room right now. Just give us a moment to go ahead and do that. All right. We're going to stop the screen share. So I am grouping you all together, of course, because you're here for Hudson. Mm -hmm. All right, Hudson. So like I said, you're going to have 15 seconds to answer each of the 10 questions. So not 15 yes. seconds for all 10, just 15 seconds for each question. I'm going to go ahead and start your tally right here. And Ms. Jessica is going to start your questions. Let me go ahead and readjust my timer. All right. I'm ready. Ms. Jessica's ready. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do all this. Right. Your first question is which people created Lamassu statues? The answer is Assyri Assyrians. Okay, moving on to the next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? Uh, an author? Okay. Okay, next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? It was a temple. Okay, next question. All right, next question is name all three types of people who lived in the Near East. Here we go. Sumerians, Persians, and Assyrians. Okay, next question. What was the name of an important Roman ruler whose name started with the letter A like an apple? Augustus. Okay, next question. What kind of events did the Aegeans paint? For athletic, for athletic events. Okay, all right, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? Humans and landscapes. Okay, next question. What continent is Egypt on? Africa. Okay, next question. What is the name of a famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. Okay, next question. Uh, what country did the Roman people live in? Italy. Okay, all right. Thank all you right. very much, Hudson. All righty, so um, do you think I can tell them how many points they got at the end? Let's of wait up until the end right. of everyone. Yes. It'll be a surprise, I Hudson. Know. <laughs> but great job. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of you back into the waiting room. Please just wait uh, until I assemble us all to the end, okay? Good job, Hudson. Thank you. Here we go. Wow. Hi, Adrian. Hi. Hi. Hello. All right. So again, I'm going to give you 15 seconds to answer each of our 10 questions, okay? I'm all ready here. Um, you just let us know when you're ready. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do this. All right, question number one. Which people created Lamassu statues? The Assyrians. Okay. okay, all right, next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? Author. Cool. All right, next question. What type of people, or excuse me, what type of building was the Parthenon? Um, my architecture. Okay, next question. Uh, name all 
three types of people who lived in the Near East. The Syrians, the Sumerians, and the Persians. Okay. Next question. What was the name of an important Roman ruler whose name started with the letter A, like an apple? Here's your time. Augustus. Okay, next question. What kind of events did the Aegeans paint? Here's your time. Um, aesthetic events. All right, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? Uh, can you say it again? Sure. What do Neolithic cave people paint? Um, they paint people and landscapes. Okay, next question. What continent is Egypt on? Um, Africa. All right, next question. What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. All right, next question. What country did the Roman people live in? Italy. All righty. Good job. Okay, we're going to tell you your points at the very end once we have everybody together. Mm -hmm. um, but great job. I'm going to go ahead and put you back into the waiting room. Please stay and wait until the end. Ayug, it's your turn. Hi. <laughs> All right, Ayug. So again, I'm going to give you 15 seconds to answer um, each of the 10 questions. And as soon as you don't understand a question, please repeat it or please let us know. Okay? Yes. All right, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do this. All right, your first question is, which people created Lamassu statues? Assyrians. Okay, next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? Author. Next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? It was a temple. Okay, next question. Name all three types of people who lived in the Near East. Sumerians, Assyrians, and Persians. Great. Next question. What was the name of an important Roman ruler whose name started with the letter A, like an apple? Augustus. Next question. What kind of events did the Aegeans paint? They painted athletic events. Okay, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? And People and landscapes. Great. Next question. What continent is Egypt on? Africa. Okay. Next question. What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. Okay. Last question. What country did the Roman people live in? Italy. All right. Okay. Thank okay you. That was 10 questions. We're going to let you know your points at the very, very end. Uh, when we have everybody back together. Um, so please stick around and we'll see you very soon, okay? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Ashrita, are you there? <laughs> Hi, thank you for waiting. Are you ready to begin? You can unmute yourself, it's just us. So, yeah, just hang out. <laughs> Hi, are you ready to begin? Um, yes. Yes, okay, so remember you have 15 seconds to answer each of the 10 questions. So, here we go. All right, your first question is, which people created Lamassu statues? Assyrians. Okay, next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? Author. Okay, next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? A Greece building. One more time. A Greece building. Great, okay, next question. Uh, name all three type of people who lived in the Near East. Here's your time. Sumerians, Assyrians, and Persians. Okay, awesome, next question. What was the name of an important Roman ruler whose name started with the letter A like an apple? Augustus. Okay, next question. What kind of events did the Aegeans paint? Athletic events. Great, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? Landscapes. Okay, next question. What continent is Egypt on? Africa. 
All right, next question. What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. Okay, and last question. What country did the Roman people live in? Italy. Okay, all right, you answered all 10 questions. So again, uh, stick around. We're gonna tally up all the numbers and kind of review everything at the very, very end when we have everybody back. So don't leave, but uh, hang out for a little bit, okay? All right, thank you, my dear, good job. Hi, Tashi. Hi. Hi. All right, so remember, I'm only gonna give you 15 seconds to answer each of the 10 questions, okay? All right, are you ready to begin? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Here is your first question. All right, first question is, which people created Lamassu statues? The Assyrians did. Okay, great. Make sure you say these really, really mm -hmm. loud. Our AC just turned on. <laughs> <laughs> so that one is pretty loud for us. Okay, here's your next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? An author. Okay, next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? It was a temple. Okay, next question. Name all three people who lived in the Near East. The Sumerians, Assyrians, and the Persians. Great, next question. What was the name of an important Roman ruler whose name started with the letter A, like an apple? Augustus. Okay, next question. What kind of events did the Aegeans paint? Um, athletic events. Okay, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? They painted landscapes and people. Okay. Next question. What continent is Egypt on? Africa. Next question. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. Okay. And last question. What country did the Roman people live in? Italy. Okay. All right. That's all 10 questions. So again, stick around. We're going to tell everybody who won or what we're going to do at the end. So. Just hang out in the waiting room for a bit, okay? Thank you so much, Tashi. Hi, Jeremy. It's your turn. Hello. 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 All right, so here we go. Uh, remember, I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to answer each of your 10 questions, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Okay. okay let's do this. Ready. All right, the first question is, which people created Lamassu statues? The Assyrians. Okay, next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? An author. Okay, next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? Um, it was a temple okay. for Athena. Question. Name all three types of people who lived in the Near East. Um, the Sumerians, Assyrians, and the Persians. Okay, next question. What was the name of an important Roman ruler whose name started with the letter A, like an apple? Augustus. Okay, next question. What kind of events did the Aegeans paint? Um, they did the um, frescoes. Okay, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? Um, they painted people and landscapes. Okay, next question. What continent is Egypt on? Africa. Okay, and next question. What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. Okay, and last question. What country did the Roman people live in? Italy. All right, that was all 10 questions, good job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell uh, everybody their points and um, kind of talk about what we're gonna do after the lightning round at the end. So please stick around, don't leave the meeting, um, and we'll see you in a little bit, okay, Jeremy? Okay, bye. Thank you, good job. Bye. Hi, Ayushi. Hello. It's your turn, thank you for waiting so patiently. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, okay, yeah, you can leave yourself unmuted, it's just us right now. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I'm only gonna give you 15 seconds to answer all, uh, or each of the mm -hmm. questions, okay? So. Let's go ahead and begin. Here's your first question. All right, question number one. Which people created Lamassu statues? The, 
the Mesopotamian people. Okay, next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? He was an author. Okay, next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? A temple. Okay, next question. Name all three types of people who lived in the Near East. Sumerians, Assyrians, and the Persians. Okay, next question. What was the name of the important Roman ruler whose name starts with the letter A, like an apple? Augustus. Okay, next question. What kind of event did the Aegeans paint? Athletic events. Okay, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? Stone Age. Okay, next question. What continent is, is Egypt on? <clears throat> Africa. Okay, next question. What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. And next question. What country did the Roman people live in? Italy. Okay. All right. That's all 10 questions. Good job. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to let everybody know their points at the very, very end once you have everybody back together. So please don't leave the meeting um, and we'll see you okay. again very, very soon. Okay. So don't leave the meeting. We'll be right back. Hello. 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 It's your turn. Thank you for waiting so patiently. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So remember you have 15 seconds to answer each of the 10 questions. And here we go. All right. Your first question is which people created Lamassu statues? Um, the uh, As Assyrians. Okay, next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? An author. Okay, next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? It was a uh, Greek. Okay, next question. Name all three types of people who live in the Near East. Um, the Sumerians, the Ass Assyrians, and the Persians. Okay, next question. What was the name of an important Roman ruler whose name started with the letter A, like an apple? Augustus. Okay, next question. What kind of events did the Aegeans paint? Um, athletic events. Okay, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? Um, people and landscapes. Okay, next question. What continent is Egypt on? Africa. Okay, next question. What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. Okay, next question. What country did the Roman people live in? Um, Italy. Okay, all right, I believe that was all 10 mm -hmm. questions. So we're letting everybody know their points at the very, very end. Um, and we will conduct all of that once we have everybody back together. So don't leave the meeting, but we'll see you in just a minute or two, okay? Okay, thank you. Right. Thank you. Good job. See you in a bit. Oh my God, I changed. Shreya, hi! It's your turn. Thank you for waiting so patiently. All right, so you can just go ahead and unmute yourself. It's just the three of us, so uh, it'll make it easier for you to answer too. So remember, you have 15 seconds to answer each of the 10 questions. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right. Your first question is, which people created Lamassu statues? Uh, the Assyrians. Okay, next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? An author. Okay, next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? Uh... It was a Greek building. Okay, next question. Name all three types of people who lived in the Near East. Um, the Sumerians, Assyrians, and Persians. Okay, next question. What was the name of the important Roman ruler whose name started with the letter A, like an apple? Athenian. Okay, next question. What kind of events did the Aegeans paint? 
Um, they painted athletic events and pictures of, of the ocean because their um, house was surrounded by the ocean. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? Uh, people and landscapes. Okay, next question. What continent is Egypt on? Um, Africa. Okay, next question. What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. Okay, next question. What country did the Roman people live in? Italy. Okay. All right, so that was all 10 questions. We're going to let you know how many points you have at the end. Um, so don't leave the meeting. We're still going to like have everybody come back together, but we will see you in a little bit, okay? Good job. All right, thank you, Shreya. Hi, Patrick. Hello. It's your turn. Thank you for waiting patiently. Hi. <laughs> Coming up. There he is. Yeah, sorry, buddy. That was you're at the very end here in the numbers. I'm so <laughs> glad that you're still here with us, though. <laughs> so you can leave yourself unmuted to answer these questions. I mean, it's just the three of us. Um, so remember, you have 15 seconds to answer each of the 10 questions. Are you ready to begin? Yes. yes. All right, let's do this. All right, Patrick. Your first question is: Which people created Lamassu statue? Assyrians. Okay. Next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? Author. Okay, next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? You have 10 seconds. <laughs> Two, one, okay, that's time. <laughs> Name all three types of people who lived in the Near East. Persians, Assyrians, and Sumerians. Okay, next question. What was the name of the important Roman ruler whose name started with the letter A, like an apple? Augustus. Okay, next question. <clears throat> Excuse me. What kind of event did the Aegeans paint? Athletic events. Okay, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? People and landscapes. Okay, next question. What continent is Egypt on? Africa. Okay, next question. What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. Ooh, that was fast. <laughs> I didn't even get to start the timer. Okay, next question. What country did the Roman people live in? Italy. <laughs> Good job. Didn't even get to start at that time. <laughs> all right, so that was all 10 questions. We're going to let everybody know their points and tallies at the end. Uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, just wait for us to all come back together. But good job. Patrick. Hi, Chasena. It's your turn. Hi. Hi. All right, so remember, um, we're going to give you 15 seconds to answer each question. Um, are you ready to begin? Okay, yes. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, the first question is, which people created the Lamassu statue? Assyrian. Okay, next question. Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? Um, what did you say? Was Homer, who lived during this time, an artist or an author? Um, uh, um, an artist. Okay, next question. What type of building was the Parthenon? Um, it was architecture. Okay, next question. Name all three types of people who lived in the Near East. So many Assyrians, Persians. Okay, next question. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is the name of the important Roman ruler whose name starts with the letter A, like in apple? Augustus. Okay, next question. What kind of event did the Aegeans paint? What kind of um, art? What kind of art they painted? What kind of event? event. Um, athletic events. Okay, next question. What do Neolithic cave people paint? Landscapes and people. Okay, next question. What continent is Africa on? Africa, well, huh? I think that question is a misspeak. I'm misspeak. sorry, that was me. That was a misspeak for me. Um, we'll go ahead and we're just going to. You can tell us what country did we learn about that comes from the continent Africa? Egypt. Okay, next question. 
What is the name of the famous Greek god we talked about in class? Zeus. Okay, next question. What country did the Roman people live in? Italy. Okay, all right, that's all 10 questions. I'm gonna go ahead and get us all back into the meeting. Mm -hmm. So you just stay right there and I'm gonna go admit everybody else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right there we are. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and Hello. we're back. That lightning round. Oh my goodness, you guys. You blew us away with how smart you are. So we're going to go ahead. Um, <laughs> Jessica and I are going to have our screen shared just so that we're the biggest thing on here. That's our desk. Don't pay attention to that. Okay. So um, I have a couple of winners from our lightning round and then I'll mm. tell everybody the point range that we're in. When I tell you this was like extremely close, guys, Oh my gosh, how did you manage to fit all of this information into your head? Like, I don't even remember <laughs> studying this much in uh, school, let alone for a, a contest just for fun. So let me tell you guys the point range that I am going to announce first. So again, super duper close. Um, the point range that I'm going to talk to everybody right now is the point range from eight to nine. So these are our runner ups, so to speak. Uh, so everybody who was in the point range from eight to nine points, that means you got eight or nine out of the 10 questions correct. I have Adrian, I have Ashrita, I have Jeremy, I have Ayushi, I have Jocelyn, I have Shreya, I have Patrick, and I have Chaitana. So you guys are a runner up. So you got a lot of those questions in the lightning round correct. Now let's talk about the three people who got all 10 of those questions correct. So I have Hudson, I have Yug, and I have Tashi, who got all 10 of the questions correct. Now we have a conundrum here. We have three people who have made it through the lightning round. So what we have discussed is that we are gonna put you through the lightning lightning round. <laughs> I don't really know what we can call this, but basically it's like a much more intense lightning round because we are going to try and narrow down a winner between the three of you. So everybody, let's cheer them on. Let's stay in it to win it. Um, and I'm going to start from the top of the order. Now these questions, some of them might be familiar and some of them you may have never heard before. So let's see how we do. All right. So uh, Hudson, Yug, and Tashi, are you three ready? Yes. 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 Yes? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this, you guys. Remember, cheer them mm -hmm. on. Hudson, we're gonna start with you. So um, yes. you and Tashi, go ahead and have yourselves on mute. Okay, Hudson, can you give us a nice loud hello? Ah! Okay, awesome. Ah! So how, what we're gonna do for this uh, lightning, lightning round is mm -hmm. once you answer a question incorrectly, you're out. It's kind of like how we were doing the rounds, mm -hmm. but this time, you're only gonna have five seconds to answer. So you gotta make that question, that answer really fast. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, are you ready? Are you pumped up? Are you ready? And I want to mention too as well, if you do, say you were the, uh, there's three people left. Say two of you guys get the wrong answer and one person gets the correct one. You're one, the person who got it correct has to answer another question correct. If you get it wrong, we start all over again. It's kind of like a spelling bee. Yeah, it's just like the spelling bee, which is what we're modeled after. Yes. Um, because then it's, it's a matter of the rounds and a matter of fairness. So okay. The winner will answer two questions correct. Just all to right. clarify. Okay. So all of that being said, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to begin. Yes. All right. Let's do this. Hudson, here we go. Oh, wait a second. Let me get my timer. Right. Wait till we get the timer ready. That's important. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay, yes. What country are the Lascaux cave paintings found? France. Oh, good job. Even before I started the timer. Okay. Uh, next, on over to you. Okay, I'm here. Hello. Awesome. Okay, you. here is your question. Why did the cave artists paint on the walls of the caves? To communicate. Great. They could okay. Write Excellent. Tashi, you're next. Okay. Okay, here mm -hmm. we go. Here's your question. Did Paleolithic people paint dot, dot, dot? What was it? Animals. Okay, good job. All right. Okay, back to the first. Hudson, are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. What was one material that cave artists used to paint on the walls that was not charcoal? Wood, dirt, dirt. Okay, next we have you. I'm here. All right, here is your question. 
All right, you, your question is, what is the name of one type of person who lived in the Near East? Persians. Great job. Tashi, we're on to you. Yes. Okay, Tashi, here's your question. Where did the ancient Near Art take place? Mesopotamia, which is modern day Iraq. Good job. Covered your bases. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, back to Hudson. Hudson, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Here's your question. Why did the ancient Near East people create their art? Sugar military victories. Okay, good job. Uh, mm -hmm. Yug. Yep, I'm here. Okay, here we go. Here's your question. How did the ancient Near East people create their art? They use reliefs and sculptures. Wonderful. Okay, Tashi, you're next. Yes, okay. Here we go. Here's your question. What is one example of some famous art from the ancient Near East. Um, the Ishtar Gate. Okay. All right, back to Hudson. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. What color were the Ishtar Gates? Blue. Okay. All right, you. Yep, I'm here. Okay, here's your question. What animals are on the Ishtar Gates? Lions. Okay, Tashi? Yes. Here we go, here's your question. Who made the ziggurats? Um, the Sumerians. Okay, back to Hudson. Hello. Hello, here's your question. Yes. What, oh, you ready? Okay. What is a ziggurat? A ziggurat is a temple made from sand and stones. Whoa, you're right. Okay, good job. Back to you. Yep, I'm here. Okay, here we go. Here's your question. Who made the lamb Assyrians? Assyrians. Okay, Tashi. Yes. Okay, here we go. Who made Persopolis? The Persians. Okay, all right. We're continuing on. Back to Hudson. All right, he's ready. What is the head of the lamb master? A human head. Great. You. Yep, I'm here. Here's your question. What is the body of a lamb master? Lion. Okay. Tashi, back to you. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here's your question. What bird are the wings of the lamb Eagle. Okay, back to Hudson. Oh my gosh, guys. How are you doing this right now? Can you believe what's happening? Okay, Hudson, here's your question. What is Persopolis? Persopolis is a city. Okay, you. Yep, I'm here. Here's your question. What is a Lamassu? Lamassu is a beast that the Assyrians created. Okay. And. Ooh. Nice mm -hmm. deliberation here. Some deliberation. What was the question again? What is a Lamassu? You did say what it is. You did. You did. Okay. All we right. had two answers to that question. Mm -hmm. So we had to figure out what was the one that we needed there. All right. <laughs> back to Hut. Or no. That was you, right? Tashi, yep. you're next. <laughs> okay, Tashi, here we go. All right. Who were one of the types of Egyptian people we talked about? Kings. Kings. Hudson. Hello. Hello. Here's your question. What was the name of the first recorded artist? Imhotep. All right. Number three, Yug. Yep, I'm back. You're back. <laughs> Tell us the answer to this question. What, or excuse me, why did the Egyptian artists create their art? They created art to um, take the people who died to their next life, which is the afterlife, and they thought if... Yeah, you answered it. You got it. it. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut you off there because that's when the timer stops. Oh, okay. it. And remember, you have five seconds. You got to make those answers. Mm -hmm. small otherwise you might run out of time but you did get it yeah you got it right in the last two seconds there all right Tashi we're back to you yes all right. hi all right here's your question <laughs> um all right here we go I lost my place what materials did the Egyptians use to create their art they use stones good job okay back to Hudson Hudson here's your question mm -hmm. All right, what was one example of the types of art ancient Egyptians created? A pyramid. Okay, you. Yep. Okay, here's your question. 
All right, ready? Name, uh, name all three types of ancient Aegean people. Here you go. Socratics, Minoans, and Mycenaeans. Okay, great job. job. All right, Tashi, you're next. Yes. Here we go. What country did the ancient Aegeans live in? Greece, or more specifically, the island of Crete. Good job, good job. All right, Hudson. Mm -hmm. Here, here's your question. Why did the ancient Aegean artists create their art? For athletic events. Okay. Good job. Yug. Yep. Hello, here's your question. All right. Name one of the types of art ancient Aegeans created. Fresco. Good okay. job. Tashi. Yeah. Hello, here's your question. What is a fresco? Here's a fresco question. is painting into wet plaster. Good job. Okay, back to Hudson. Here's your question. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. What types of statues did the ancient Aegean people create? Abstract. Say it one more time. Abstract. Good job. Okay, next, you. Yes. Hello, here's your question. Mm -hmm. Name one of the famous Greek military leaders. Alexander the Great. Good job. Okay, Tashi. That's my question. Hello, mm. what's your question? Here it is. Name one famous Greek god we talked about. Zeus. Okay, Hudson. Hello. Hello, here is your next question. Name one famous Greek goddess we talked about. Athena. Okay, you. Hello. <laughs> Very good, here is your next question. What type of sculptures were the Greek artists trying to create? Human ideal, we shows the perfect person. There got it. Thank All right, you. and then I'm gonna say, we're gonna call it here with Tashi on the last question. Tashi, here is your next question. All right, the last question here today is, uh, name all three types of Greek columns. Here you go. We got? Columns. Columns. Oh, Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian. Okay. So we, mm -hmm. to give you guys an idea, we just asked you about 40 questions in a row. Um, so I think that's very clear that we do have three winners for our Art History B today. Mm -hmm. So everybody, let's give it up for our three winners, Hudson, you, and Tashi. Great job, you guys. And everybody who stayed with us, thank you so much for uh, staying to watch and also support and participate. Everybody, you were so brave and did such a great job. I cannot believe all of the hard work that you put into Ooh. studying for this. Um, I hope that we can do another art history V and we'll have to make like it even more challenging at the very, very end. Uh, you guys really showed up and showed us like just how, you know, uh, much studying you can do and sort of like maintain and learn. So I'm blown out of the water. Good job, way. good job, Hudson. Good job, Tashi. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah, great job. Oh, look at my ship. I love, love, love art history. It's my favorite. Uh, 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 that was super easy. That was the easiest thing in the whole world. <laughs> Thank you guys Aww. so much for that. Um, Congratulations, guys. All three of you guys as our winner. Thank you. I'm going to see you too, you. It's all in there now. So I can't wait to start our next series for art history. We're going to be journeying into medieval mm -hmm. art and it's super fun. I've been looking at all the art we're going to create. Uh, so I really hope to see you guys soon and have you guys all study all the good knowledge some more. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for sticking it out to the, see if we could get, narrow down a winner. We Yay! quite frankly couldn't. I mean, my, I'm tired from sitting. I'm sure you are. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you so much again and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 B